Leave the dope alone. Leave the dope alone. Leave the dope alone. I'm gonna say it again. You need to leave the dope alone. Leave it alone. What is up? Let me tell y'all what let me tell y'all what's been going on. I ain't even gonna try to be funny and try to mm -mm, no I'm gonna get straight to the point. Y'all know I told y'all that this week um I was supposed to be running and have a track me vlog. I literally told y'all, I said y'all, I guess y'all would have tracked me vlog this weekend. Da -da -da -da. First of all, hold on, don't mind my hair braids right now. I'm a little curl. Anyways. So I told y'all, I was like, I got y'all with a meat vlog this week, like, um, this time. I definitely did have y'all with a meat vlog until I found out I have COVID. And I only, in this, see, this is how I'm all over the place. Because one, I told y'all that I was going to give y'all a meat vlog. Two, I'm just now recording this video letting y'all know that I had COVID. I have, I've been having COVID since Wednesday. It's Saturday. Tomorrow's my last day. So, it's... Anyways, I don't know what, I, I really don't know what I want to do. Like, I just turn the camera on because, like, I hate going so long without posting stuff and then it just seems like I'm not staying up on my um, stuff. But I really am staying up on my stuff and I'm trying to. It's just some effect. Who thought they was going to get COVID? Because it sure as heck was not me. You feel me? So, I'm going to just go get some mayonnaise. Like, that's bogus. I'm about to leave the house. That's how bad I want to leave this house. Just to go get a condiment. Girl, be for real. But no, I'm going to leave, um... I was gonna cook something, but there ain't, I really was gonna make me some wings, but I'm not, I can't go anywhere. So I really got only access to Target right now. So I'm gonna go to Target and get some mayonnaise and make this bean burger to keep me going for the rest of the night. And um, yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this vlog. I really don't know what, I'm, what I wanna do with it, but we're gonna figure something out. Girl, that's another thing. So, like, I look bogus. I look so bogus right now. Anyways, um, I'm about to carry all this trash outside. And then when I get back in the house, I'm gonna turn the video back on. And we're gonna see what I'm gonna do with this vlog. Cause I still don't know what I wanna do with this vlog, but we're gonna do something. So I'll be back. My favorite thing to snack on is um, frozen grapes. They're really good. Ooh, it smells like weed. Literally coming through our stuff. Like you will think somebody up in here no, it's the neighbors next door. They be doing it all the time. And I don't care if y'all watch my vlog. I'm talking about you. You need to leave that dope alone. Leave the dope alone. Leave the dope alone. I'm going to make this video and I'm going to talk about how I maintain my relationship with Christ and how I'm still surviving while well, being in school. You know? And I put that in my story and a lot of y'all was saying I should talk about that or I should talk about how I even form a relationship with Christ or talk about my testimony. Y'all were just, everybody was giving me an even vote for all of them. Like, I think I had 42 votes on the, um, how did I maintain my relationship with Christ while being in school. So that was the one I got on the most. So that's what I'm going to talk about. And I got plenty of other times to talk about the other ones. Like, I'm not going to exclude those and not talk about those. But why well, talk about all those in one video when I got time to make them up, you know? And then once I'm done eating... We gonna get going. We gonna get to talking. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move room because I feel like I could be right here with y'all. When I first came to school, um, we had this thing called Welcome Week. So um, Welcome Week, there's a lot of parties like during the week. Mind you, I didn't party when I was back at home. Like I partying was not up my alley. I just don't do partying. So you know, um, me and a few others, we went to some parties here and there. Mind you. I've never did anything that I wouldn't do back at home. So I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do nothing. The more we was going to these parties, you know, it was kind of, I was putting myself like in an awkward position because I knew what I believed in and I knew what was right for me and what was wrong for me. So being in this environment where everybody is doing the same thing and I was the only person that wasn't doing what everybody else is doing, I felt out of place. And um, with me feeling like that, I used to always come back home feeling drained. You would think that going to an event where supposed to be fun, the atmosphere is supposed to be fun and um, you would leave feeling like that, but no, every single time I used to, if I'm going to these places where the expectation is to have fun, why do I keep coming back home feeling drained? And the only reason why I'm talking about this story because it's just gonna connect to these points that I'm gonna talk about of how I'm maintaining my relationship while being here. 
So by me feeling drained, by going out and doing these things and um, doing stuff that I knew like I didn't belong, it felt like I was like, I was the right person. I was the right thing in the wrong place, you know? And um, <laughs> I got that from Sarah Jakes. Anyways, I, yes, but like for real, like I was the right thing in the wrong place. And that's not putting nobody down who choose to do those things, you know, to each his own. But me personally, I knew that's not how I was. I knew that they fun wasn't my fun. So me going to these certain events and being around this type of crowd of people, if they're doing things and I'm the only one that's not doing it, that should tell me everything. Cause like, why am I there? You know? So after feeling that way, um, it'd be, it was like weeks where I was just feeling drained y'all. Like I didn't have the motivation to read my Bible. Like, um, I was getting agitated easily. Um, just so much going down. So, so much stuff was unfolding throughout that week, throughout the beginning of the school year. And I, I just like, I honestly couldn't grasp it. Like, why? Like, why is all this stuff happening to me? You know, this supposed to be fun, this college, everything new. I'm telling you God, I, I knew me and you was gonna be right here with each other. I told you, my focus gonna be on nothing but you, but why is all this stuff happening to me? I've had many points in my life where I felt low, but um, I think this one only hit so hard because once again, like, I was on my own. I don't have my mom and dad here. I don't have my close friends here. Like, I'm with newer people. I'm in a new environment. So I'm, I'm literally just everywhere with everything. I'm just like, why is this stuff going on? Like, it was just so much on me. So whether it be who I'm around, what am I doing, what I'm, what I'm in, like all of those things, I just knew there had to be a set of change because I couldn't keep allowing myself to partake in these specific um, activities that was making me feel drained or being around certain people and then coming back home and feeling empty. Like that should have had been happening. But it took for that to happen for me to realize and talk about these three points of how I maintain my relationship while being here. So the first thing, one of the first things that I've done while being at school, and it's just don't apply to people at college. I mean, it can apply to anybody, um, high school, whatever, it don't matter. It, it just don't strictly apply to college, but I'm just saying college in particular because that's where I am. So one of the first things that helped me maintain my relationship while being here was realizing what I'm intaking. I had to start paying attention to Zarya, who are you placing yourself around? What are you listening to? What are you um, paying attention to? Like, for starters, I know, look, I know all the old heads be like, oh, your phone, da 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 da, but they not lying. Like, this, this, this not where it start, but this play a big role. I mean, because we all got it. The stuff that we look at or the stuff that we listen to, especially, like, all that stuff matters. So, I had to adjust that. Like, what am I intaking? Because yeah, it'll be times where I just be scrolling on my phone out of boredom, like probably on TikTok or social media, or I'm looking at videos and um, they can have a negative influence, but we may not know that because you know, we ain't, we not thinking about it. I had to make sure, I had to pay attention to what is it that I'm allowing myself to intake. And that was the biggest thing for me because um, who you hang around matters. Like I'm pretty sure we all heard this before, but I'm, I'm telling you like, who you place yourself around matters because Although you may be correct with yourself, although yes, your focus may be within God, if you keep placing yourself around people who don't do the same thing that you do, it's only going to be so long until what they do will wear off on you. And that's what you don't want to happen. And I feel like while being here, if that had happened and I experienced that, and that's not something that I want to go through again. Granted, I'm not saying we're going to come, we not going to ever come across people that don't have the same interests as we do i'm not saying that but when we realize those things we shouldn't ignore that you know the number one thing i had to do to, in order to maintain my relationship with god was learning how to pray about what i'm intaking like it would be times where things i always pray ahead in regards to something that's new that's coming into my life and i encourage y'all to do that like when it comes so let's say um friendships or relationships when you come across a new individual or somebody that's new that's coming into your life Pray about that. Like, ask God to allow you to see this person the way that he wants you to see them, you know? Is it that they're trying to offer? Are they trying to take away from you? Or are they trying to add to you? And he will show you. And when you start making that to a uh, um, habit, you will start being able to decipher who's for you and who's not for you. And that was my biggest thing that I had to learn while being here. And y'all will learn that too, because not even just with school, like I said, but anywhere that's new where you have to meet or, communi or come across different people, I encourage that you pray in advance about what it is that you're coming across you know because you never want to be in a situation where you are around the wrong people 
once again, you the right thing in the wrong place, around the wrong people, and they taking away from you the whole time you thinking they adding to you, you know? That has happened to me while I've been here. So with me being able to recognize that now, that has been that has strengthened my relationship with Christ because every time, like there's never been a time where he hasn't showed me or allow me to see things for how it is, you know? And his, it's never been a time where he let things go over my head. And it has, and if it has, it's because I let myself, you know, over, I overlooked it. Not because he didn't show me. He's, of course he's gonna show me, but it's me. I have to pay attention to these things and be able to focus on what it is that he's trying to show me. So pray about what it is that you're intaking. And aside from like relationships, your environment, and it kind of go hand to hand with the point I was just talking about, but when it comes to um, being in a new environment, a new campus, anywhere that's new, once again, I will pray about those things. And at the beginning of my day, first thing in the morning, I always ask God. You know, first I give thanks to Him, and then I ask Him, like, God, please go before me and take hold of my day. You know, and if there's any possible way that you want me to be a light to somebody, um, I ask that you put me in a position to do so. And your prayer don't have to sound like that. Your prayer could be however you want it to be, because at the end of the day, it's a simple conversation. That's just how my conversation usually be when I'm talking to Him. But However you want it to go, let it be that. But that's what I've done that's been helping me when it comes to coming across new people and coming across new environments. I always ask God to allow me to see things clearly. And when you start making that a habit, you will see how much, how much peace you will start receiving. So that's one of the things that I, I've been doing that's helping me maintain my relationship while being here is praying to God and asking Him to help me be aware of what it is that I'm intaking that is good for me and what's not good for me. And um, I encourage that like keep, make sure to pray over your intake. The second thing that I do that helps me maintain my relationship while being here is being intentional with God. That should have been the first one because when it comes to school and everything, it's so hard and complicated. And I'll be the first one to tell you, cause I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. It's hard to be intentional with God, especially if you're a student athlete or you're just a student period or anything, anything where you know you have a hectic schedule. It, uh, but it's possible and it can be done. It's never too much time in your day where you feel like you can't set aside time just for him. It's, it's never too much time because he has enough time to wake you up in the morning and that's letting you know that he not finished with you. So you can even just take that step. Like as soon as you wake up in the morning, you can be intentional and tell him like, thank you God for waking me up this morning. That right there, that helps me so much. Like when I make sure, like it's a, it's literally a habit now. Like I, when y'all, when I tell you I be not even half woke yet, when I wake up out of my sleep, I, you go, wake me up this morning. Amen. Like it's literally a habit. Like. But do that, like, if you struggle with implementing him in your day, start with thanking him every single day. When you start doing that, it'll literally become a habit. And then also it helps with being grateful unto him, like, and you will start being thankful for so much more throughout your day. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, if y'all could see the stuff I be saying, thank you God to, you literally gonna look at me like I'm crazy, like, girl, are you for real? Like, for example, like, if I lost something and I found it, um, thank you God, help me find this, amen. It's a habit, but it's good. It's a good habit to have. When you, although yes, we do have hectic schedules. I have a hectic schedule. You know, like I said, I'm a student athlete. I got classes in the morning, and then I got practice afterwards. And then after practice, I gotta work on homework, and then da 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 da, and then start all over again. You know, one thing I learned that's been helping me why I'm intentional with God because we never know what can happen. First of all, we, we surrounded by lunatics every single day, and. That's why it's so important to be intentional with him and ask him to take hold of your day because we not promised tomorrow and we don't know what lasts tomorrow and we don't even know what lies within our day. So that's why I feel like it's important to ask God to take hold of your day and also to ask him to protect you, you know, along your ways, wherever you go to or from, ask for protection. Like that's being intentional and it don't have to be forced. It can be so natural around my generation. We think that it has to be so forced and uh, you have to have a set time, a set day to make sure you talk to God, make sure you pray this prayer, make sure you read it. Like if that works for you, that works for you. I'm not knocking that. But what I'm telling you, um, don't make being intentional with God a to-do list. Like let it be genuine from your heart that you want to spend time with him, that you want to recognize him throughout your day. You know, and he would know that. He would know if you being genuine or not because he know our hearts. And even with prayer, like coming to him, saying all these big things or feeling like you have to be at a certain place, a certain time to pray these prayers, it doesn't have to be like that. Like, just like I'm sitting here talking to y'all, it's the same way you could be talking to God. It's just that simple. It's literally a simple conversation. You don't have to have all these big thoughtful words. And if you do, hey, <laughs> I ain't knocking you. Do what you do. 
But um, yeah, like don't be phony with it. Like be for real. Say what it is that's on your heart. Let him know. Because it literally says like, for one, when it comes to like trying to make these strategic prayers and make them so thought out and make them so long, like it's literally a verse. And I don't quote me on this because I don't know the, um, the book, but I know it's like pagans think that it'll be heard for their many words. Like it says it right there. Like, um, yeah. And then another thing like I, I, I want to bring in comes to um, prayer. God knows the things we gonna ask him before we ask. That's another verse. And I'm, I'm gonna mention these, um, the exact verse in the video, so y'all won't think I'm just talking at the top of my head. No, I got my resources. Mm-hmm, I got my backup, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, making sure you being intention intentional. That's one of the biggest things that's been helping me while being here is being intentional with God. Don't, ever, let me say this, cause I've done this before. If you feel tired, you feel lazy, whatever you may be feeling, do not. Dang. Did I read my Bible? I didn't read my Bible today. Let me just go ahead and open this verse of the day. Even though I walk through the darkest valleys of prayer, not even for you, I love me, you are accepting of me. All right. Don't do that. Don't do that. And the reason why I'm saying don't do that because for one, you making it feel like it's a to-do list. It's a relationship, y'all. It should not feel like a to-do list. Like. God know your heart like and I'm so serious and I'm stressing this because I, I I do it myself There be times throughout my day where I've, I've done so much I'm so tired and yes granted I did already say thank you God for waking me up this morning So I did acknowledge him at some point, but throughout later in my day I probably didn't pick up my Bible yet. I've struggled with that. I've, I've dealt with that. That's normal That's something we deal with but don't Force it to where you like, ugh, I gotta read my Bible today. I gotta make sure I read my Bible today. Yes, we do need to be in our word day and night because that's our future right there. It's our future in the book and it's God's way of communicating to us. That I won't ever take away from that. But let him know that. Pray that prayer and let him know like, God, I'm feeling this way today. But in regardless of my feelings, like help me to be able to still receive your word the way that you want me to receive it. Like Holy Spirit, please guide my understanding of this word when I'm reading it. And don't let me rely on my feelings, Lord, because we know that our feelings are seasonal and they're bound to change, you know? And that's something that I even have to tell myself because when I have those days where I'm not as intentional and I feel so tired and I feel like I'm, um, or not even just tired, like if you already feeling some certain way because of a situation that happened and you just feel like you unworthy of trying to even trying to do this or you um, can't do it right, like anything that's negative, anything that's in conflict, well, something that has to deal with God, pray about those things because he's going to help you, but you have to be willing to want to let it go because we can't sit here and say like, oh, we want to be intentional with God and we want to make time for him, but then when the opportunity is given, we kick our feet up and no, there's going to be days where you feel like that. There's, there's been plenty of days where I felt like that. It's true. Probably like four days ago, I felt like that. And I did that. Like I was so tired and I put out my Bible verse and just read it. Um, oh, that's my verse of the day. I read my Bible. I'm going to sleep. But what did I take up from it? I can't remember why, because I was too focused on making it a to-do list rather than doing it from the genuine time out of, out of my heart. So um, that's one thing I did. I've been doing while being at school is being intentional with God that's been helping me maintain my relationship with him. Oh, also, let me tell y'all this. You didn't, you feel like you ain't make time and you want to make time, those devotionals come in hand because at the end of the day, it's still a verse in there and, you know, it's just a little easy way out because they breaking it down for you. But, mm -hmm, okay, you still getting the word. But no, um, I highly encourage getting a devotional or uh, starting to plan on the YouVersion Bible app. That's the app I use and it's so many plans on there for so many different things, so many feelings, so many circumstances, anything that you can think of or anything that you're going through, there's a plan on the app. If you have a devotional book, I recommend um, starting a plan. When it comes to reading devotionals and being attentional to God, reading the Bible, ask for guidance before you read. And I had to learn this because I used to just always just read and um, just read just to read. And I didn't understand nothing that I, like, that I just read. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you for clarity like ask the holy spirit like i do this every time before i read like holy spirit please help me to understand your word and receive it in the way that you need me to receive it rather than in my own way and give me endurance to continue to do this and have consistency among um reading this book and your prayer can be set up however you want it like it could be simple it could just be like holy spirit help me understand this amen like y'all i'm not even trying to be funny like it's that simple you never want to read a scripture <clears throat> or read a book 
and take it out of context. That's what you don't want to do, you know? And it's been a few times I've done that. Not on purpose, but unintentionally. So yeah, pray for that and do that. And when you start getting rid of those things, that's how you form being intentional with him. And then my last point, my last thing that's been helping me. So I give y'all two, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a total of three because these are the biggest three things that I've dealt with that's been helping me while being here. The third thing is um, making sure, paying attention to my surroundings. And when I'm saying surroundings, I'm not them people. Paying to, and this kind of go along with the intake point, but paying attention to my surroundings. And you're probably like, how does this, how does this help with maintaining your relationship with Christ? I'm gonna tell you why. You sit with thieves. You hang it with thieves every single day. You sit with thieves every single day. You sit with people who literally steal you got two things. How long is it gonna take until they jack you? Or how long is it gonna take until you jack somebody else? You a part of that whole product of your environment, that intensity of surroundings, like that's literally gonna, that's the biggest thing, like that's gonna help you maintain your relationship with God. Make sure you in the right place at the right time. Like making sure that you around like-minded people. Make That's helped me maintain my relationship while being here. Uh, back to my first point, when I said I was always at parties with the people that I was at parties with, that was not helping my relationship with God. That was not helping me learn more about Him. That was making me feel like that was making me feel drained. And then I would try to take it to Him and want His help. And I'm sitting here asking for His help, but then I'll start my day back over here doing the same thing that I was just crying to Him about. You know. So that's why it's important to pay attention to what you surround yourself with, because that stuff does matter and does, it plays a part. Like you are a product of your environment. Whoever you place yourself around or wherever you may go, make sure it's beneficial to you and you know that it's healthy towards you. Like that's gonna help you while being at school. Praying about your intake, being intentional with God and paying attention to your surroundings. Like those three things has been helping me while I've been here. And I told y'all like, there's going to be days where you don't feel as motivated to do all those things. There's, there will be days like that, but that doesn't mean that you have to sit and be comfortable with it. You don't have to. You have to be willing to pray against those things, you know? Pray against, because first of all, the enemy, he always working. Just as God is working, the enemy is working. But just because they feel like the enemy is working more, that don't mean that God is losing. Always remember that. So uh, when you have those days where you feel like you're under the weather or you don't feel, like, feel as motivated to uh, work on the three points that I just listed, Pray about those things, give it to him and put it in his hands. That's all, that's all I've been doing. Like those, that's the things that's been helping me maintain my relationship while being here, you know? And um, if it's, if y'all got any questions or you want me to go more into depth about what specifically the plans I be working on, what book should I recommend, like whatever, whatever let me know. Just hit me up. I promise you I'd love to help y'all. Like it's no biggie. Why am I here over here looking crazy? Um, once again, I'm sorry y'all, I didn't have a meat vlog because I had COVID, but it's okay because it's clearing up, because if y'all would've heard how I sounded on Wednesday, you literally would've thought I was a man in a woman's body. But yeah, so I'm gonna go upstairs, chill, wind down, and then this week I got y'all, you know I got y'all with the random vlogs, and I for sure got y'all for a meat vlog this week. I'm not gonna be sick, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be running, we're good. But yeah, thank y'all for watching my video and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, have a great time.